Morning guys, starting off in the car today. Decided not to do this long run from my house. Um, I'm on the ultra route today, but I've moved a bit further along, a bit further away from home. I don't want to get sick of doing that same section over and over again. And it's a tough section to be fair. I can kind of go 6K from my house and it's still going uphill <laughs> by the time I get up there and then back 6K, it's all downhill, but I've kind of had enough by that point. So yeah, I'm out today for a 16K long run. I'll fill you in on how the week's training has gone. This is week six of my 50K ultra training. Starting off at Bowl Hill Lane, exploring some of the uh, Spire Ultra route. This does include one of my least favorite sections of the route, uh, being honest, because uh, there's one particular section I'm just not a fan of. Um, so yeah, we'll get to that in a little while and uh, I'll fill you in, like I say, on how the week's training's gone. Catch you in a bit. This section of the route starts with a short, sharp downhill from the car, followed by a long slog of an uphill past Manor Farm. So there's no escape in the hills no matter which way you go, but yeah, change is as good as a rest, eh? So you may recall that last week I had back-to-back -back longish runs on the weekend, 12k and 8. So I got those done and the distance each weekend trends upwards <laughs> for most of the plan. So uh, that's just the beginning. This weekend, longer long runs. <laughs> but thankfully on Monday at the start of the week, it was a rest day, <laughs> a fine way to start the training week. So on to the first run of the week. Tuesday was 8K steady uh, with strength training afterwards. And one point of note for this week is that that's the only strength training session of the week. So uh, most weeks have two and sometimes there's just one. Uh, just depending how Chrissy's decided it needs to go that week. So I guess she was giving me a bit of a break this time. Whew. Made it to a map board for the Chesterfield round walk. We are here. So I set off from somewhere around the Bowl Hill area. On my way up to Stone Edge or Stanage. Uh, it's all uphill till there. And then we start dropping down again. Uh, I think today we're expecting to get to around there. Which will be 8k out and then 8k back to the car. You have to watch your footing around these fields. There's divots every every foot. <laughs> Six inch deep cattle footprint, tufts of grass, so yeah, it's an interesting terrain. Now on to the next run, Wednesday, that was a 6k easy run. I've got a nice loop from my house now, which is 6k, half on the trails, half on the roads, uh, just a nice gentle one. Okay, so we're approaching the bit I was talking about when I said one of my not so favorite parts of the route is around here and just making your way around this farm uh, if the weather's been wet it's just horrendous uh, the reason i've not worn my speed goes today which i will be doing for the majority of my long runs um, is because they're clean so i'm wearing the dirty torrent twos today just to cope with this farm bit i mean it's it's the muddiest bit of any route anywhere i've ever been on so uh, yeah better get in there and tackle it a lot drier than the last time I was here thankfully still muddy but the mud's a bit firmer than usual I think they've put some sand around that first bit we came to so we'll see how we get on with this bit I've never actually tackled this lane before. I usually have to go all the way around that farm and across a swampy bit of field. Um, but that's the Chesterfield round walk route and I believe the ultra last year came up this lane and uh, headed towards the, the busy main road at the top and I presume it's just a bit safer to cross at this point than it would be 
on the round walk down there so we'll see it's definitely an uphill lane <laughs> heart rate got into the 170s just walked for a short while to calm it down yeah fairly straight section of roads across there more visibility than it would be further down so survived made it onto Belland Lane really like the views from up here looking back towards Chesterfield and all the other hills yeah we're kind of probably at the highest point of the route today almost at the top of Belland Lane now anyway Okay, we're just dropping down into Corporation Wood here from Stonehay Farm. About 5k in after 42 minutes. So, nice and steady. Uh, so, let's talk about the next run of the week, which was Thursday's hill session. Uh, last week was 24242 in terms of minutes for each uh, hill thrash. Uh, this week it increased. So 24642. So I did it on the same street as last time. Around rush hour sadly, so <laughs> did have to stop to cross a road a time or two or kind of keep running along the road to get behind the traffic. It wasn't technically uphill. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty tough session. On to Friday. That was a rest day on the plan. Though after a manic day at work, I did then spend about four or five hours assembling the new Ottoman bed we had delivered. Since the move to the new house, my wife and I have been sleeping on a very old mattress on the floor, so hopefully this new bed and mattress will help to improve my sleep and help to improve my running. That's the idea anyway. So here we are on the long run for Saturday. 16 kilometers, doing 8k out, 8k back, and usually I do my weekend runs faster, just get up, get ready and get out, um, but I'm back on with getting my body used to running with food, so I had a banana before I set off, and I've got a flapjack to eat soon. Okay, so that's half a chocolate, chocolate chip flapjack eaten whilst walking up part of Dennis's lane I don't know who Dennis Easel was probably Dennis the Menace judging by how technical some parts of his trail are but yeah this this little lane goes on well over a mile I think and it kind of trends uphill for a while then it's downhill but yeah it's narrow, rocky, technical, sloping <laughs> good fun so tomorrow, Sunday, it's the final run of the week, of course. And we have got 11 kilometers for tomorrow. Again, Chrissy advises judging the pace according to how you feel. Steady if you can, easy if you feel you need to. I'll see how that goes. The uh, Spire race comes down Dennis's Lane the way I've come this morning and the worst thing about doing this run this morning is I've got to run back up it. <laughs> oh dear, it's a long way up all those rocks. Right, that's the other half of the flapjack gone. Does anyone else struggle to eat on the move? I've heard that eating while you walk up hills is the way forward, but I find I'm out of breath from beginning up the hill 
my nose doesn't take in enough air. <laughs> I'm trying to breathe through my mouth while I'm eating. And uh, it's just a struggle. Okay, that's it. This is where my route turns around and goes back. Morning sheep. So, I'll leave it there guys. I can uh, manage the remaining 8k by myself. Fingers crossed. But uh, yeah, it's been a decent week of training. I've got the 11k still to do tomorrow. And that'll be week six done. And uh, halfway through the hills and strength week. Um, so week seven is kind of the peak of the hills and strength. And then there's another deload, which seems to happen every fourth week, which is nice. So uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Uh, catch you for week seven. Enjoy your running yourselves this week, guys. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.